This week we have to describe an extravagant royal wedding and we have to do it in an English accent. So let's just get on with it. <laughs> First of all, I would like to say that my my wedding ring um, will have lots of lots of different jewels in it, not just diamonds. I think maybe my my wedding ring should just be like like that big, all just different coloured diamonds and precious gemstones. I feel like I feel like a white red wedding ring isn't isn't appropriate to my personality. Um, but there will be lots of diamonds in my hair. I feel like it should be, um, like diamond beads all throughout my hair. I actually love that idea. I kind of want to do that now. The dress, obviously, big deal. I've done some dress shopping. One for the ceremony and one at the reception. Now, I feel like I should only have two bridesmaids and one is my sister and the other one is Kelsey. Um, so those are my two bridesmaids. Um, the, f the flower girls are, um, will be Porkchop and Pinta, but I cannot find Pinta right now. So, you know, um, I'll figure out a place for the other three cats. Um, they could be ushers. Do you guys want to be ushers? You want to be ushers? Ushers at my wedding? <laughs> and then to the reception, well, when we drive to the reception, I think we should drive there in a party bus. Um, it, it's going to be a, a Swarovski crystal encrusted party bus. Well, since my reception is going to just be like a big dance party, I think we should probably have it at an arena of sorts because everybody in the world is invited. Everybody except for um, Kesha. There's going to be little tables spread out around the f floor area and everybody will be given their own choice of what they want to eat because I hate when you go to a wedding and you only have two things to pick from of what you want. That's, that makes no sense to me. No sense. Chicken or steak? What if you don't want either? Or if you just want french fries? That's not fair. And there is one rule, and I will kick you out if you're not doing that, and that is that you have to dance. And we're going to only be playing dancing music. None of this slow music that they play at weddings. Like, don't you hate that? Pump it up. Pump up the volume. I want my first dance to be to Man from Milwaukee by Hanson. And they have to perform it live. Because they'll be there anyway, because everyone in the world is coming. So they'll be there, they might as well just jump up on the stage and, and sing the song for my first dance. I don't know if I feel like doing the truth in an in a English accent. We'll see what happens. If I feel like, like continuing with this. I'm, it's, I'm on a roll now. I'm on a roll. Roll now. Whatever. I'm on a roll now. So I might as well just keep doing it, right? I didn't actually really do a whole lot of the Australian thing, which I normally do almost every day. It's because I just watched a Pixie Wu video. That's what's going on here. Tell the truth. truth. Have you ever done something illegal? <sighs> well, I steal things. <laughs> Not from stores. I don't. I don't steal like from stores or from people's houses. I steal silverware from restaurants, and I steal books from. Well, I used to steal books from my high school's library because what happened was, all right, this, and I'm not justifying stealing because I know you shouldn't steal, but this is, a, this is a different situation and I'm losing the accent because I have to concentrate too much. Here's what happened, guys. Our high school's library was shut down and had to be rebuilt because there was an obnoxious amount of asbestos in the ceiling tiles, in the carpet, under the carpet, in the walls, in the blinds. There was, I mean, everything had asbestos in it. So they had to shut it down and when they reopened it, they put all the old, old books in this back section 
for that no one like could have like I mean like you could get to it and you could take the books out with no problem but no one ever did and it drove me crazy so I just took a couple books if I saw a book that I wanted that I noticed that someone hadn't signed out since the 80s which is the case with some of them I just took them it's a terrible am I a terrible person for example the book The Wizard of Oz like the old L. Frank Baum book we had one that hadn't been taken out since 1983 and the reason I knew that is because it has the dates on it and it's not like, you know, whatever. So I took it. I figured it's not being used and I've read it four times since then. So, you know, I'm going on 15 minutes of, of recording here. So I better wrap this up. So guys, I will talk to you next week and I hope you enjoyed this video. It took way too long to film and it's probably going to take even longer to edit. So, yeah, okay. I will talk to you guys later. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Slido Cheese. Oh, and, um, and since I don't know who the groom is going to be, and since I don't have a role in the wedding for the other two guys, I'm going to just say I'll marry Kika since we were talking about that on Facebook the other, the other day. And then the, Chris and Nick, you guys can be the groomsmen. But it'll be like we're all actually getting married. This will be a polygamous situation. I, I have to stop. I have to stop. <laughs> I shall stop to stop you guys. Goodbye. I have pliers. Ah. Ah. That's bad.